Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Divi button module as a trigger for your overlay. If you have not watched the getting started tutorial yet, I highly recommend that you watch that one first. It's going to show you how to create the overlay, add the content short code to your page, as well as set up a simple text link trigger. Uh, and if you've already watched that, then, um, then great. You should already know how to create the overlay and add the content short code to your page. And so in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use a button module as a trigger. And so I'm gonna come back over here to my sample website that I have set up. And uh, I've already added the content short code to the page. And then now the next thing we wanna do is set up the trigger. And so um, you can see here, I'm on the main Divi overlay screen, which I have the CSS ID, content short code, and the menu ID that corresponds um, which is necessary for adding the content as well as setting up the triggers. And so I'm going to just go ahead and copy and paste this, or I'm going to copy it now to my clipboard. Now I'm going to go over here, insert a module, select button module. And uh, for the button URL, um, you need to put something down. And so we're going to put uh, just the pound sign and then open. Um, essentially, Divi will strip out anything that is not a valid URL, you know, like this, or it'll strip out, so it'll strip out anything that's not a valid link or an anchor link. So those are the, the two options. So you need that pound sign, uh, which is typically used to, um, to, to, uh, to move to a different part of the page um, based off of ID, um, but we're going to use it here uh, for opening the overlay. And so you're just going to type a pound sign and then open. It doesn't really matter what you put. Um, you can put, um, I think my running examples, you can put bananas, it doesn't matter. Um, you just need a pound sign and then some sort of text um, and no spaces. So you can do open overlay, something like that. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it like that. And then for the button text, obviously this is what you want um, the button to say. And then you can configure the button like normal, advanced design settings, use custom styles. I'm just gonna use the default for this. Now here is where you paste the CSS ID. I've already copied it to my, click, my clipboard. And so, again, you find that next to the overlay that you're trying to trigger. You're going to copy and paste that entire thing into the CSS ID to make sure that it's ID and not class, because uh, class will not work. It needs to be the CSS ID. And then go ahead and click Save. So, uh, as a reminder, there's three steps to creating or to um, setting up a Divi overlay. The first step is creating the overlay, which we, we've already done in the previous video. The second step is adding the content short code to the page, which we've done here. And then the third step is setting up a trigger, which we just did. So I already clicked update the page. I'm going to go ahead and click view. You can see here there's the button that I added. And when you click this, it triggers the overlay just like that. So pretty simple to use the button module as a trigger. And so um, as you can imagine, it's going to work pretty similarly um, with all the modules across the board because the majority of the modules have the, the same um, custom CSS uh, with the ID. And so you just add the ID there and that's what, what triggers the overlay. Uh, so that concludes this tutorial on using the Divi button module as a trigger for your Divi overlay. Um, I recommend checking out additional documentation uh, with videos. Uh, just go to um, divilife.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, come over to product documentation and then just select Divi overlays and all the articles uh, with videos. We're going to be updating this, adding more. Um, and so we have all the basics here now. Uh, so watch getting started image, um, using the image as an overlay trigger. Uh, so this article here, if you haven't watched it already, will show you how to uh, use an image from within a text editor as a trigger. So just the default WordPress text editor, you're adding media, um, and then you're, you're using um, the, the text uh, the text tab to edit the HTML and add the trigger, as well as using the image module as an overlay trigger. And then this video, obviously, the Divi button. Um, so yeah, I think this will be the end of this tutorial video. If you have any questions, please feel free to open up a ticket over here at divilife.com. Just click on uh, support tickets here. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.